friends. So I have a layout for you for the Saturday Stash Dive. So if you haven't heard yet, I am part of the design team for the SNL design team. That is a YouTube-based design team run by Carla, scrapologist, and we take our stash and we make layouts or crafty things. And so there are a whole bunch of new members, and they all are great and amazing. And so in the next few months, you'll be able to get to meet them while they do challenges too. So this week, Megan and I are going to be doing and using chipboard. So I am cutting out some or like tracing some chevrons and these are the papers that I'm going to be using so that paper on the side where my scissors are sitting on is the inspiration for what I want to do for this layout so I just took I knew I had that chipboard piece and I knew it had like those chevrons on it or like arrows so I'm just going to use those as a like stencil and so here I'm just cutting all these little pieces and I tried to grab as much stash as I could, but mix it in with some newer stuff. So I have some Chamel, I have some old Tim Holtz from Ideology. I mean, I've been needing to use that paper up for a while now. And I also have some die cuts with a view. What else do I have on there? I have quite a few. Oh, I have quite a few t uh, die cuts. I have an Amy Tan piece of paper from the 6x6 pad that I bought. And so I am cutting these up. And I sped this up really fast. So if it's like super fast for you, I'm like, sorry. I just figured instead of editing it all out, I would just speed it up pretty quick. So it'll go by quick. And then we can just kind of chat. So I am super, super excited to be on the design team for the SNL design team. Um, last year or last season, there was a ton of great scrappers, YouTubers on. And so I hope that the rest of us can make a really good legacy for the SNL team. So I am super excited because um you know, I had fun watching a lot of them do their challenges from week to week and using different stash and and stuff. So I'm excited to help inspire other people to use their stash. Now, and I know I'm a newer scrapbooker, so I don't have maybe as much stash as some of the other ladies who are on the design team but you know it builds up really really quick if you don't use it I mean all that die cuts with a view I had since I first started scrapping so just about a year because it's been just about a year coming up this month at the end of the month um for my a whole year that I've been scrapping. So I'm going to take these and I'm situating them in a some kind of order. And I put this on just plain white cardstock. I really want because I'm using those, I want to keep it less busy. So, oh, I'm trying to think I think I also use We Are Memory Keepers chalkboard paper, that green one up in the left hand. So I tried to get colors that were really similar to the chevron paper, but a little bit different and, you know, just kind of varied the colors. This is like, you know, doing strips or doing like a pattern like this is a good way to use like one scraps. I mean, I have, and I tried to get, um, you know, I have a iris container full of, or a iris-like container full of stuff. So that needs to be used because it's just bits and pieces. So something like this is really fun 
to do. And plus, it for me, it really helps just be a little bit more creative and thinking outside of the box, you know. Um, we don't always have to use a pattern, you know, I could have used a paper that was like that, you know, on my background, but this is one way to tone it down. I mean, though that pattern is really, really busy and as fun as that is, um, sometimes it's kind of hard to put a photo that you really want to see on there without it feeling like it's, you know, overwhelmed. And so... I think that this is a good way because you can add as many sh types of the design that you cut out on the paper or, you know, you can make it really busy if you really want to. So I will say I'm not sure how much background noise is going to be, but um, it is super, super windy at my house right now. I'm actually doing this voice over in the complete dark. Thank goodness for a full battery on my laptop and everything. So I'm able to do the voiceover and hopefully the power will come out on in the middle of the night. So it's, it's very interesting. <laughs> so at least I wasn't recording. That happened to me before. So I'm just going to finish this up. And at this point, I still am not really positive exactly what I'm going to do with this. I mean, I knew I wanted to do this. Oh, yeah. I could see a little bit of the lines that I used with the pencil. So I'm just going to go through and use a eraser. And that one's more like a smudge proof or like smudge resistant or, you know. So here's the next part of my layout, <laughs> layout that I'm doing. So that's the photo that I'm going to use. And I want to use this white piece to put in one of the layers. But I'm going to do some, some painting on it. I was going to say coloring. I'm not really, well, I'm adding color to it. And so it took me a while, but because <laughs> I wasn't exactly sure how I wanted to do the color. But so my first thought was to put these on with not that much tape. So I did use some tape because I thought, you know, when I'm done, I can pull them up and you'll be able to see, you know, the chevron in the back. But, you know, it'll be the opposite. So, you know, the kind of like a stencil-ish. But, so I'm going to get all my colors, and those are the colors that I'm using. I have like a blue, like a really light green. I have, there's a coral color, but I add a little bit more orange to it, and you'll see that. That's the green. That's the coral. And then I have like a pink, and that's pretty, a pretty dark pink, even for it being light. So I'm going to add a little water, or a little water, a little white to it. And that was the orange that I added. And it's pretty bright. I just picked up these paints not too long ago because I'm going to be taking the Wilma class. And so I thought I'd play around with it a little bit. And these are acrylic paints. And I am adding a little bit of water because I want to thin them down. I don't want them to be super opaque. I want you to be able to see a little bit. And at this point, I don't, I still think I'm going to pull up those chevrons. But as I get going, I actually really like the way it looks with, <clears throat> with the paint over top of the chevrons. So you can see the patterns behind them a little bit, but they're not, it's not like overwhelming. So I just used the colors, and I tried to stick with the colors that were in the papers that I used. I mean, I used mostly pinks and corals, and I used some grays, but I didn't add gray. I thought that would be too much. So that was the coral color, and as you can see, it's super bright. I mean, I love the color. It's really pretty, but it was just a little bit too pink. So I'm just going to add a little bit of that, and I'm just randomly... I'm trying to leave a lot of open space in this as well, even though I do want there to be color throughout. 
And I do know that a lot of this is going to get covered up anyway, but still. So I'm going to put this off to the side. And I did have to heat gun it after I cleaned out all my paint. And I do that right away. I know some people like to leave it for a little while, but if you leave it too long, acrylic paint dries really quick. So, and that's not, um, you know, like a heavy body. So it does dry pretty quick. So there's a piece of scraptastic paper from an old kit that I'm going to use. And I really like the words. It says happy. And even though you can't see it, I really like the black, um, it kind of goes along. And then I I remembered, I say realized, I remembered that I had these um, tidbits from, it's an ephemera pack from Studio Calico. And these are pretty old because I don't even re know what collection they're from. So I know they came out before I was really scrapbooking. I want, or right around, I want to say maybe it was like the Wonder, Wonderlust or something like that, but I'm not positive. And so I really like that orangey color from the number two. And even though I, you know, so I just kind of played around with it. And then I realized, I remembered that I had some old Dear Lizzie tags too. So I thought, hey, you know, I mean, this is all about stash. So I'm really trying to think about what I have in my stash. You know, what is stuff that's not completely new? But, I mean, even with that, I like to add, you know, some new pieces to it or add some new patterns or just because, I mean, even if you look at layouts from like a year ago, I think that people are going to, it's easy to see what's, trendy and what's not and um and not saying you have to scrap like that at all but you know if you're buying newer papers and that's all you scrap when you have to use an old paper you can tell right away because <laughs> they don't always match so I try to continually grab a few pieces of something you know and mix it with some newer paper so that when you're doing it all the time, you can see it or it blends in better. So I decide that I'm going to put these on pop dots because I mean, hey, you know, who doesn't want more dimension on their page? And plus I know that I'm going to be using some chipboard and I didn't know where I was going to use it. I didn't know if I was going to put it underneath something. So I kind of thought about maybe using one of those Chamel four by six cards, like cutting it up. But I just didn't like it. I really liked the way that this looked with all this white space. And for me, I tend to love a lot of color. And, you know, I mean, obviously there's nothing wrong with that. But sometimes it's just nice to have something with that's not, that's busy in the right places. So I'm looking through all my chipboard and I don't know about you guys, but this is one of the things that I just, I get because it's just so cute, but then I only use a few pieces and then I'm like, oh, and then I have all this chipboard from collections. I mean, this is basic gray that I'm looking through right now and I see a whole bunch of these like thin strips of stuff and I know some of that is Teresa Collins Life Emporium and that's not super old. So there's that speech bubble that said hello, and I kind of was fooling around with where I wanted to put it. I didn't know if I wanted to put it over the zookeeper's face. I mean, technically, I didn't get her permission, but <laughs> but the pho photographer who took this is actually with Make-A-Wish, so her picture could theoretically be put on the Make-A-Wish site, so... So I'm just looking through, and I kind of really like the way that it looks with those pieces going through. And then I remember that I have some Pink Fresh Studio, which is some newer product in, like, really bright colors that are kind of similar. And this one says you and me, and I really like that because this photo is a picture of my daughter and last year just around this time actually we were in San Diego um, for a vacation that my daughter got 
through Make-A-Wish, she wished to be a zookeeper. So we went to the San Diego Zoo and we got to feed a whole bunch of different animals and see a whole bunch of different animals. And it was really, really fun to go around with a tour, one of the zookeepers as a tour guide, and they tell you a little bit more about the animals. It was fun. So I really love this picture of my daughter feeding Mary the elephant. And I will say that at this point, I wasn't sure what I was going to do for a title. So I left it without a title. And then as I was editing this, I realized that, oh, I know what I'm going to call it. Because the name of the of that elephant is Mary. And I really don't want to forget that her name is Mary. Just because it was just really fun. So pause for a second. <laughs> right, time out. Uh, right now I have some more rub-ons. And there was a phrase on there that said something. And it didn't, wasn't completely relevant. I mean, it wasn't like horrible, like words to live by or something. But I really didn't care for it. So there was an XO, XO, XO in gold. So I laid it over top. So you can kind of see the words underneath it, but they're not like sticking out at you. And I really, really like how that turned out. I kind of had to space them a little bit differently, so I had to go kind of slow to do this. And so here, I'm looking through some other pieces to see what I was going to put down in that bottom. Oh, my head, because I'm picking up. <laughs> I think I'm almost done with this. I'm getting close to being done. I know that because I realize oh yeah I got to put this down because at this point I hadn't even put down that thing because I mean when you use those the rolls uh, you have to undo you know take all the paper off and they also had cards in the pink fresh studio kit and that's just an embellishment kit and they're like these valentine most of them are valentines but this that one said what did it say it says love these moments and it was perfect and the pink went really well so I stuck it on the side and they're like a really thick like almost like plastic so I'm going to use a slick writer pen to write the date on there and I wrote San Diego Zoo and then I'm going to journal around the sides so and I just pretty much a lot of the stuff that I told you, just how fun it was. I don't think I used fun. Um, no, I know I didn't use the word fun. <laughs> just, you know, what an amazing experience. And I know I've scrapped some other pictures that were similar to this one or because the photo we had a photographer um, through Make-A-Wish, he came and he took some pictures. So we got some really nice professional pictures, which was really fun because it was super hard to like sit there and feed an animal and watch your kids feed an animal, but try to get pictures. And I mean, you know, you want to remember all these moments because you know, I mean, how many times are you going to be able to feed an elephant? Probably not too many. So it's like, I really, really, really wanted to remember it. And it was really nice that we were able to have a photographer that could do it. So, and then they gave us the copies. So that's there. And then I decide that I want to add some, some mist just to sprinkle. So I use a light pink that I had made myself and it has a little shimmer in it but it's really hard to see and then I use Heidi Swap Black Velvet. So that about and does I it for this layout and don't forget to go check out Megan's video and have a great day. Bye guys!